Good morning and welcome to the garden. It is Wednesday and the onions are looking really good. Um, <coughs> the cucumbers. Um, I have put a cage in there and hopefully they're going to just climb right up that. Give us lots of cucumbers. Um, the tomatoes. We have lots of little plants coming up. Nothing really thriving. Basil has stayed about this size this whole time. I don't know. Um, we do have some pepper plants in the third row there. Just for the fact that uh, they were getting killed everywhere else. Um, strawberries are looking good. Um, we actually have some little strawberries and leaves forming in there. This is the healthiest that they have looked in the years that we've put them in because the goats keep eating them. I've got to get out. My goal today is to weed this one. Um, so that's the mint, the spearmint, peppermint, the chocolate mint, you know, all of that. Uh, over here we have the sage and it is looking amazing and no, I haven't been watering it. Once that ground gets really wet and you get that hay around it, it doesn't seem to need, it's kind of like the uh, wool around the trees doesn't need so much watering so um then we've got <laughs> peaches galore i am so ecstatic with this tree I, I i'm just amazed at how many are on it and you can see this one here the, they're kind of getting weighted down but that's okay look at those peaches on there um I, i'm really happy with that so we're hoping to get them going a little bit more uh, yeah, the kids were down here yesterday, and, and unfortunately, um, I've got to fix this again. Um, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'll fix it. My spinach still isn't, like, sprouting up terribly great, but then again, I had a young man down here helping me yesterday, and he was stepping on it, so, I mean, the fact that that right there isn't dead is, is good. So, I have the spinach there. This is where the other, the gourds were. So I have some gourds coming up impromptu. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm okay with that too, I guess. Um, then on the apple trees, we still have like, I don't know if you can see them up there, but we have some apples. Uh, not a great crop, but then again, this is kind of a tiny tree. And the other tree over there has more. The wind came and knocked a bunch of them down. So. Um, the other problem that we've started having is chickens getting into my garden. As you can see, we have a watermelon here, and we had a whole row. Um, I just have to find them, because here they are, you know, and the chickens have come along and scratched in there. Just when I get them going good, and you know, I, I haven't had any problems with chickens doing this before. Now, I get stuff in here, and the chickens want to be in here, down here scratching. So, that kind of irritates me. Alright, then we have our dragon's egg cucumbers coming up here. And we're hoping that those will do nicely. I also have the only two that I got to sprout so far is the loofah um, gourds are right there. And I think this is a watermelon. And I think that's another loofah gourd. So, we'll, we'll see. I, I think there's loofa gourds in there. Two or three plants. Um, the ones that were on the end, we lost them in uh, the last time it rained and the floods rolled through again. So, I lost some of those. Now, my two little experiment ones. Where are they at? Let's see. We'll stop and look here. This is a pear tree. And up there at the top, I saw a couple of pears. Um, the other day, so I'm hoping we'll get some pears. But when the storm came, it of course knocked a lot of them down there. Up there, are some apples. See, and I have a tall picker. And this year, we're going to oh, there's one. Looky there, looky there, an apple. And and they're growing, they're growing, so I'm okay with that. Um, then right here is one of our there's the other one 
our two experiment ones and they're going really good so I I now know how to get them from seed out into the garden I probably will have a later garden than everybody else because I wait until after any chance of frost to even start them now down here in my herb garden we have an interesting thing going on um some of the things I had reused some soil because some of the soil blocks didn't sprout. Well, now it appears I have I think beans or something coming up in my uh, herbs. So I had planted some fennel and some rosemary and some thyme. Those are not rosemary, thyme, or fennel. Okay, the fennel is right there. This one is thyme. And this one's rosemary. And that is not rosemary. So, um, yeah. And then right here, RJ was nice enough. And he tilled this for me. And we planted, I think, garlic on this side. And garlic chives. No, chives on this side. And garlic chives on that side. Yeah. And then it flooded. So I don't know if I have any seed even left. But we'll see. Um, but he did come down. He just kind of hit it with the tiller to kill everything so that I'd have a nice clear spot. <sighs> yeah. And then it flooded. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but the trees are doing nicely. We actually have fruit on them. I'm super excited. Um, this one right here is coming back just as strong. So when we top it, it should you know, do wonderfully. I'm going to keep printing it like it's totally healthy and, and I bet you it comes back amazingly. The pecan trees um, are doing wonderful. They're there. Uh, and this one right here, this apple tree has got to be thinned out again and topped or it's going to get huge. Um, I was looking to see um, we found apples on it the other day, I think. And I can't remember where they are. But the branches are so thick, it's just not getting a whole lot of light in there. Um, and, don't know if you can see it. I do have a little bird nest up there. <laughs> and yes, we're leaving it. I'm not knocking it down. I'm going to wait and see. It's kind of a bag looking one or I don't know it, it's kind of all enclosed so we're, we're okay with that too but anyway this one's going crazy it will get trimmed or I'm sorry pruned this uh, fall this winter and it will do much better it's just going kind of crazy crazy but yeah anyway that's pretty much all we have on the garden is things are just starting to grow um, which I'm super excited about I'm not gonna plant a whole lot else out here I'm gonna focus on the herbs um, and we'll go from there uh, just saying you know but my goal today is to get um, of course I have to mow um, I've been keeping it mowed down and all that stuff so and of course cats like it over here but um, I'm keeping it mowed Here's the goal with keeping it mowed. Um, technically, no, I don't have to mow that over there. But buttercups and Johnson grass are poisonous to sheep. So if I keep it mowed and keep it where the Johnson grass and the, the um, buttercups don't come back. And you can see I've been pulling stuff out and killing it. Um, then I can eventually, the plan is to turn the sheep loose in here um, and let them eat everything that likes around the trees and all that stuff. Um, and I'm going to fence my garden. Whenever I get it going good, I will fence the herbs, the garden, and anything else that I want to keep them out of. And then I will just have them out here to eat the grass. So our newest additions are doing really good over here. I know this is more in the barn cells, but they like come over and see me in the garden in the morning. Yes! They're trying to stay out of the wind. But look at all of them. Look at all my babies. Yes! There. Alright. 
Look at all of them. Yeah, and there's some black ones. They're just so cute. And they just peep along. Peep, 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 peep. Yeah. So anyway, they've gone out to the gray. He's like, hmm. He knows if he does anything, I'm going to bust him. <laughs> Get back over there. Yeah, they come out to see me. They were all along the edge there so that they could stay out of the wind. Come on. Yes, I disturbed them with my garden update. All right, I'm going to go in and uh, get this put up. But there you have it. Um, pretty much garden update for this week.